Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Crispy. I mean, you know, we're, we're just going to start repeating stuff now, right man? Because I just literally made a video called Travel. And now I got to have a new video titled Foul. Two different NBA games, two different situations. And you know what really ticks me off the most here? You want to know what upsets me the most? It's new, it's uh you New York Knicks fans. I I I thought out of every single NBA franchise to have our back this season, you guys have had our back the most. But it turns out you can't have your cake and eat it too unless Kyle Lowry's on your team. I think about this season. And I think about the trade deadline. You know, we tossed you all an old head, Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burks. And you guys tossed us a great, great young player in Evan Fournier. I'm just joking. And Quentin Grimes, of course. And Quentin Grimes, of course. That was cool. That was cool. That was a nice trade. That's a trade that I felt good about. But not only that, the game against the Magic... When Paolo Bancaro traveled, Nick fans were defending Piston fans. Saying, oh yeah, they got it wrong. They got it wrong. Yeah, no, they got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a travel. That was a travel. Like, you guys had our back. And then the next game comes around. And there's an atrocious non-call. And the defense is... I don't even know. I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's like, all I'm seeing is like Nick fans like dive deep into like the rule book and being like, well, Dante Givincenzo, his, his, his dick wasn't swinging at a philosophy at 2.7 miles per hour. So therefore it's not a foul. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Where we all know for a fact, this has been probably the most horrible officiating season of all time. And we also know that the referees are notorious for calling too much, not too little. So what are we doing? And don't get me wrong, Nick fans, like in the end of the day, I have no problem if y'all are like, well, you know, a win's a win. Cause I get that. Like, that's not your fault. That's not your fault. Like, yeah, take the W, man. But it's okay to admit that the referees kind of helped out in that situation. And that's not even to say that you guys still maybe not, you know, y'all could have still possibly pulled it out. Who really knows? We've seen a lot of things happen in the NBA. But yeah, take your win. That win doesn't really affect the Pistons, you know? I mean, it affects them in the sense that, well, we're trying to not be the worst team of all time. But apparently, the NBA wants to treat, you know, this Pistons squad as if we have Corey Maggette and Gerald Henderson leading the way. Like back on the Bobcats way back in the day. No, man, we got Cade Cunningham. Okay, like, let's pull this up here. Alrighty, man. So, um, you know, Cade Cunningham, 32 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds, trying literally everything he can to, to, to lead this team to victory. And you want to talk about somebody that's had to take the roughest path to do so? Let's talk about Cade Cunningham, man, okay? Now, Going into this game, he had like 50 or 60 points with a total of zero free throws. Thankfully, in this game, his old teammate, Bojan Bogdanovic, gave him, you know, a little bit of an assist and fouled him on a three-point shot, sparking the referees to remember, hey, oh, yeah, the cage should probably get some calls. Shout out to Gromis, by the way, 14 points, three rebounds, two assists. But, like, overall, like, I, I, I look at both teams here, like, this was a very fun competitive game. It really was. You know, you can't really fault either team for that. I mean, what's our bench unit, man? We got we got we got Grimes, Fournier, Flynn, Wiseman, and Eve Bowanman. Played eight minutes, two points. Very nice. Very nice, man. But alrighty. Let's show the last bit here, man. This is this is the uh the the the, the non foul call here, bro. Okay? This is the non foul call. Let's get it. Saved by Grimes to Fontecchio. Knocked away. Hardstein picks it up. Out to DiVincenzo. Ten seconds ago, he throws it away. Like, Gray deep, like, 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 and <laughs> I don't get it. 
How do you not see a foul there, man? He steals it. That's a bad pass, okay? If anything, if you're even unsure, you give the defender the benefit of the doubt. Literally, the man of Sar just stole the ball, bro. He picked off the passing lane. DiVincenzo forced a bad pass. And I, I guess he's going to get reward for it, though. Like, like literally, man. Like, like that's dribble, man. He, he stole the ball. Yeah, everybody hustling back on defense. Sar got the ball in his damn hands. And then right there. Let's just go, you know, let, 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 let's go for something that would be called a damn flag in the NFL, <laughs> you know? You probably suspended for a game of that in the NFL. Like, come on, man, you can't. This ain't like, 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 like leapfrog or something, bro. You can't just put yourself down and think he's going to jump over you like a track star, man. Like, literally, that's nothing but, but getting re rewarding. So, and then they call a foul on too, man, which, you know, let's add uh, let's add more on to it. Ridiculous, okay? K just, like, I don't even, like, what's the point now, man? What's the point now, man? Yeah, oh, and, 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 and you know, before we get to if a foul should have been called, because I already know there's fans, you know, Nick fans in my comments. I mean, what are you going to say about this? Crew chief admits missed foul. Like... Just you can just admit it, man. Take the W, but just admit it, bro. It ain't that it ain't that deep, man. It ain't that deep. Let's see what Monty's gotta say. And I'm gonna give props to some to uh, Monte Williams on this, man. Like, you know, I still think he's a horrible coach, and I still think he makes a lot of stupid choices on the court. And I don't know if that's because he's a horrible coach or if he simply does trying to get fired. Or if he's trying to get fired, but at least he shows something here, man. Here we go. The absolute worst call of the season. No call. And enough's enough. We're used to it here we've, in Detroit. We've done it the right way. <clears throat> we've called the league. We've sent in clips. We're sick of hearing the same stuff over and over again. We had a chance to win the game, <clears throat> and the guy dove into Asar's legs. Yep. And there was a no call. Playing simple. That, that's an abomination. You cannot miss that in an NBA game. Period. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of our guys asking me, what more can we do, coach? That is so exhausting. It's, 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 it's like literally the league is not doing anything. But the thing is, is that you, you guys know what's happening here, right? Like, I don't even think people realize this is happening. The NBA is, is, is putting you and I against each other. They're making us accountable for their horrible calls. They're making us fight each other, man. Because at the end of the day, if you get a bad call and your team wins, you're you're you're, you're not gonna you're like like you're you're, you're gonna be like, yeah, we got the dub. You know, you're you're gonna look away from realistically what happened, and you're gonna have the reward of what was called. You know, and the NBA just up there laughing, and if anybody says anything, they they get fined. It's like it's like everybody wants change until you're rewarded for it. It's like, no, you got to step up as a Nick fan and say, that was a bad call. I would not want that to happen to my team. That's what y'all got to do. That situation is exhibit A to what we've been dealing with all season long. Not just been us. Enough's enough. Other teams too. You cannot dive into a guy's legs in a big time game like that and there be a no call. It's ridiculous well, and time. we're tired of it. We just want a fair game called. Period. Dude, and I got man. nothing else to say. We want a fair game. And that was not fair. I'm done. Good stuff, man. The Little Giants is a good movie, bro. I love that movie, man. All right. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what else to say. I already know it's going to be comments of people just saying that, you know, well, complaining, but, you know, when it happens to you, when it happens to you in the playoffs, or it happens to you in the finals, don't cry about it. 